Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today as we take you on a musical visit to Krakow, Poland. The former capital of Poland and seat of kings, Krakow is a city which exudes history and culture. Today we bring you sights and sounds from Krakow. Thank you for joining us. The Wawel Castle is one of the most beautiful and impressive royal residences in Europe. For centuries, Polish kings lived here. They were crowned and buried here in the cathedral, which is a part of the complex. The cathedral also has been for nearly a thousand years the most important religious center of Poland, and in recent years was connected with Pope John Paul II, who was the bishop of Krakow. The Poles believe that in this place, the heart of Poland is beating. The history of the Ark of Panna Church, known as the Lord's Ark in Krakow, is a story of the struggle for faith and freedom. In the early 1950s, in a section of Krakow, a small town was started by the communist government known as Nova Huta. It was an experiment by the communists to establish a godless community where there would be no churches and no houses of worship. But the people of Nova Huta rebelled and set up a cross in the location where they wanted to build their church. In 1960, an open conflict erupted between the communist forces and the inhabitants. The struggle continued for years until 1967, when Archbishop Karol Wojtyla, who was to become 
Pope John Paul II intervened and fought for the faith and rights of the people. Finally, the communists reluctantly conceded, but would not allow any help or materials for the church building. The individuals brought stone, wood, and other materials for the building one by one. At last, after 10 years, Cardinal Vortoya consecrated the Arca Pana Church, built in the form of an ark. And the term means God's Ark. The people said it this way, their church was an ark of faith in the sea of communism.
Moscow is one of the most picturesque cities in Europe. The main square is the natural center of Krakow, the starting point or destination for countless walkers. It is surrounded by shops, flower stalls, and restaurants on every side. In the middle of the square is the Cloth Hall, which is one of the symbols of Krakow. On the northeastern corner of the square stands St. Mary's Basilica, with its two slender spired towers reaching high above the whole city. It is one of Krakow's landmarks. Some historic legends and many historic events are closely linked to the city's main square, which includes the bugle call played every full hour from one of the towers of St. Mary's. Whoa, whoa.
From the old town whose heart is the large market square, to the Kazimir, a once cradle of Jewish culture, to Wawel, the seat of both the royal castle and cathedral. There is something of interest and intrigue around every corner in Krakow. Reminders of World War II and its enormous impact on the city are everywhere, along with the historic buildings and churches of Krakow. Many people come here to make their own private pilgrimage to the mournful concentration camps of Auschwitz and Birkenau, a part of history hopefully never to be repeated. I am standing here in the courtyard of the Waffle Castle here in Krakow. It was designed by Italian architects in the 16th century who came here for almost 40 years to oversee the building. The apartments were used by dignitaries in the government and the kings of Poland. Today we find here one of the most important museums in all of Poland.
is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music, as we have brought you a program entitled A Musical Visit to Krakow, Poland, with music from its grand churches and monasteries. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. If you would like to purchase today's program or any program from our library of over 400, please visit our website at dianebishtv.com or call 1-800-933-4844. We look forward to hearing from you.